This isn't a hard and fast rule, but in general, I'm not perfect. And I hope that I have really matured and I've asked for forgiveness for some stupid things in the past. Well, I don't want to be eternally known for those things. And maybe I need to give grace to those who may have messed up in the past in their lives. And that ties into grace for your future spouse. No one's perfect. In a world of Disney, princesses, soulmates, happy ending movies, sunsets, we forget no one's perfect. Relationships demand work and grace. You're never going to be in a perfect relationship and live happily ever after. It doesn't exist. Now, some of you listening are right. You're on the good side of history of the dissolving of your marriage. You have tried to manage it all well. Well, let me tell you, I take pride in how I handle trying to salvage my marriage, how I navigated the divorce, how I managed a broken family, and all the logistics that come with that. But no matter what, no matter how we use facts and selective revisionist history to explain our thoughts and actions, none of us are sinless. None of us are perfect. I hold the burden for stupid actions, unwise words, for being a selfish husband, selfish father, and just a selfish man. If God can forgive me, and I am blessed by his grace, who am I to not give it away, to pay it forward? We've been given a gift so big, we can't hold it in our hands. We must pass it around. It overflows. Lastly, I feel the need to address this for some of you. Giving grace, forgiving, changing the lens you see through does not mean you must bring in an abuser, an addict, a dangerous narcissist back in your life or your family's life. But when you're ready, when your heart softens, you can pray for them. You can, when safe, Drop the harshness. Some of you may be ready for that call, that text, the one that says something kind, the one without the middle finger attitude, the one without the sarcastic tone. Let's pour out grace. Let's love even the unlovely. If you like this content, then subscribe for even more resources, fun, laughter, and sound advice for Christians adventuring in unyoked living. Not just divorce recovery, but for brave men and women who are growing and going and living a life on mission. Blessings.